As you guys are all aware, the Raspberry Pi community and Raspberry Pi single board computers are both coveted by both retro gamers, enthusiasts, and hobbyists. And in June of 2019, the Raspberry Pi Foundation surprised us all with new single board computers, the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, when this unit came out, it was introduced with a new version with a USB-C power adapter and two HDMI mini plug-in adapters to connect to your TV. And when they came out back in June of last year, the demand was very high as the, com the community jumped for joy as they can enjoy a new single board computer with more RAM and more processing speed. With the joy, there also came some serious pitfalls, one of which being that uh, the connector on the Raspberry Pi 4 wasn't universal. Uh, you cannot use your Samsung charger with the Raspberry Pi 4 and expect to get the optimal performances that you guys would normally receive. In addition to that, the operating system, Raspberry and Buster, which launched with the unit, wasn't really up to par. It caused overheating. If you use the operating system, the videos and whatnot would stutter. And in most cases, the system would automatically throttle because the front end, the operating system of Raspberry Buster, was just not up to par for the board and would cause overheating and cause additional issues. High heat temperatures, of 80 degrees Celsius exceeding 180 degrees. That's typically hotter than most RC car motors running at a very low optimal speed. However, in February of 2020, they corrected these boards and introduced a 1.2 version of the Raspberry Pi 4, promising many fixes that the community has been looking for. But the only issue with this is there wasn't a way to tell which one of the boards would be the newer ones versus the older models. Uh, back in 2020, there was an interview with Tom's Hardware and someone asked the CEO, can users tell whether they're purchasing a new revision board or an older model? And his response was kind of shocking. He said the best way to tell the board or tell if it's a newer bar board is with an electronically marked cable to see if it works, which means you, the consumer, would have to order through Canakit, Amazon, Best Buy, or Micro Center, get it home, and then find out if it works or not. Well, honestly, from a consumer standpoint, that's just not really acceptable. Honestly, there were some pictures released a few months ago that showed us which boards were the newer revisions. Marked by these images here, you can look at the board on the back and tell which ones are the newer boards. But the problem with that is you still have to buy it, take it home, and find out if it is the newer version board. Then the article goes on to say that all the Pi 4s have the fix, so eventually all the inventory will be gone. If you're looking at getting it or tinkering with the Raspberry Pi 4, there is a guide here. I will post a link in the description below. But the issue is most of the older boards are still being sold in the store. Now remember, this is back in February of this year, and now it is May 2020 and uh, we're still here on lockdown and whatnot. But for the most part, it doesn't seem like they want it to be upfront, open, or our have some type of transparency about which ones are the newer boards but alas i did some digging around at micro center and with the help of one of the representatives we were able to establish which ones are the newer boards by looking at the box i'm here at micro center and i was talking to one of the reps and he was able to assist me finding out which one of these are the newer models so um, in front of me, obviously we have a bunch of the four gig models and the one gigs are above me, but those are discontinued and they are currently out of the two gig models. So I went through a couple of these and then we noticed that obviously this one was already open when I got here, I did not open this. And um, if you guys look at the back of the Raspberry Pi 4 on the boxes, uh, these will help you find out which one of these have the new USB-C fix. Uh, the one on the left here is the newer model, and the one here on the right is the older model. Um, a I was here a couple weeks ago, I picked one up and it still had the little notch by on the left side of the SD card. So the one I have here, um, if you actually look at some of these boxes, the ones that have the sticker on the front that says DIY2 uh, with the 21, these are all the newer ones. So all the ones that don't have a label in the front, and I can't say this would be the same for every micro center. Uh, but it should be something for you guys to go by. Uh, all of these would be the older ones that don't have the USB-C compliant fix. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, this is one of the older ones here. As you guys can see the diagram here on the back. I'm gonna turn it around. So these are all the older ones here with that diagram. And the ones that have 
that don't have the diagram, like this one here, this one, or the one that I'm picking up, uh, those don't have the diagram on the back, and it doesn't have that number, like 182-2096. So uh, you guys should be able to find these in the store. Now, fortunately for those of you guys ordering these uh, online through Canakit, um, I'm not gonna go through those boxes. I'm not able to assist in finding out how you guys would be able to tell. Um, I don't know if you guys can ask Canada if they're mailing it to you, but um, as far as I know, there's no way to really tell how you guys would find out if they have the newer ones when you guys are ordering through Canakit because you're gonna have to wait to get them in the mail. So, but just wanted to give you guys this quick update that this is how you guys can tell if you have the new Raspberry Pi 4, uh, uh, 4 bs with the USB-C fix. And um, you shouldn't have any more issues with that. Um, I'll do a follow-up on that. But again, this is these are the new ones here, the ones with no diagram. So one with no diagram, those are the brand new ones. All right, guys, I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Hope that helps.